All right, Coach. So, big win today. Your other coach said last minute you were invited, actually, by Brent Key. So, just how special it was to be here today, to be able to compete and just go undefeated. What that meant for you and your boys? All right, well, it meant a lot for us. We're, we're a very young team, and uh, they're really learning on the fly. And uh, so I'm really proud of it, man. We came came together through some adversity during the uh, tournament. So I was just real proud of the way they fought and the way they started to picking it up and playing faster, reading their keys, doing the thing they need to do. Man, I was really, really proud because they're so young, man. But I think we're going to really be good because they're really working together as a unit. Yes, sir. Now let's talk about the semifinal game, right? You're playing against uh, Stockbridge, the team that beat you in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Able to get a little bit of revenge there. How good did that feel to kind of shoot it to one of those rivals? Uh, it felt good. We, we kind of been, you know, talking to each other throughout the day saying we wish that would happen. So it was good for the kids. It's good for our morale, man. But we're going to get back on there because I really believe uh, this year we're going to see them again gotcha. in the playoffs. Yes, sir. And then tell me a little bit about your team. We know about Jordan Tony, who's obviously three-star uh, on three. We know about Trent Kimball. But who are some of the guys? Your quarterback was slinging the football today. Tell me about some of those players that we can expect in the coming season. Well, the, uh, I'm going to be honest. The quarterback is my son. Um, okay. He's a uh, he's, uh, he's an upcoming junior. Uh, he plays us, uh, also plays safety as well. Uh, I, what I was really impressed with him, uh, he did well on both sides of the ball. He has most of his offers, multiple offers on um, safety. But uh, who I was really impressed with today was Zach Smith, our corner. Uh, our other corner that's uh, upcoming junior, he is a tremendous, tremendous cover guy. We, we, we kind of put him on everybody. And then our other safety, uh, Monte Reeves, who has multiple offers as well. So we're really proud of all of those guys in the backfield because they're so young, and I think they're going to be one of the top in the state in the near future. Yes, sir. Now, Coach, tell me a little bit about um, the culture that you have at Hapville Charter. A lot of people know about it, but tell me what's the day-to-day -day at Hapville Charter, how you just get the most out of your boys? Well, um, just like Coach Gordon said, we, we, we do more with less. We don't have as much as everybody else, so we, we have to be very creative. But, you know, the kids work hard, and we work hard as a coaching staff. We got great synergy. We want to, and we're a family. We're a small school, so everybody's pretty much close. Even the older guys come back and impart to them. So they understand that the standard is winning, and the standard is being a good model citizen. So, as long as we keep doing that, man, hey, Villa, keep striving. Got you. Now, you were four seed, right? You said you felt some kind of ways about that, but, you know, you win it all. Just, you know, how good did that feel? Just, you know, kind of team that's underrated. Not a lot of people talk about, but just being able to show, like, hey, we're here to compete and we're here to win this day. How good did that feel, Coach? Well, that felt great. That was the ultimate prize for us today, and that was the adversity that we was talking about. Being a four seed and still withstanding some of the great, play great teams like, uh, Camden and, and Moody and uh, Stockbridge especially with the athletes they have to withstand that and come back and win it all that is a tremendous thing that we did today so I'm very proud of our team and I'm looking forward to getting back in the lab and getting better. All right, two more questions to let you go coach. One so what can we expect from the team this year? How can we find you guys on uh, social media? Where can we find Happy Little Charter? All right well uh, we expect, we expect to do well. We, we're looking to have a deep run. Um, you know, believe it or not, we have an excellent defensive line. Our offensive line is very big and strong. So we're going to do well. I think we're going to do well and go deep in the playoffs. But uh, if you want to get with us, we're at HCCA Athletics uh, on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you can also get with me at Grind Atlanta Grind on Atlanta. In Instagram and Twitter. Okay. And uh, like I say, man, we just we just a small group that just okay. love to fight. I got you. And then um, – any more camps or 707 tournaments we can expect you in the rest of the summer? Well, we're going to be doing some camps with Woodward, um, and then we do OTAs uh, once a week with uh, Banneker High School. Uh, we work with them. But uh, Coach Gordon is now trying to schedule some other schools like South Carolina, Tennessee, and some others like that.